Hey guys, Erica here and welcome back to Black Girls Build 2. So we're currently in the middle of transforming this office space slash game room video editing space. But this video is going to be dedicated to the custom desk that we're going to be building for this whole space. So I'm going to be taking some butcher block and some plywood and hopefully turn it into an amazing desk that's going to span this entire wall. So stay tuned. to me with very little direction other than he wants to get his PC off of this nightstand which I agree I've had this nightstand since I was a little girl so it is time to go he also wanted this desk to be a lot longer so what I'm thinking is we're gonna do an L shape so that we can maximize this space I've already bought another slab of butcher block and we just have to get this one sanded back down to raw wood but other than that I'm excited so let's get straight into it Alright, so I ordered this butcher block at 6 feet and it's unfinished, so what I'm going to do is get it prepped for a stain. So I'm going to give it a really good stain and get it super smooth and then I am going to use a wood conditioner on here and then we're going to get the stain applied. So all I'm going to do is follow the instructions on the can, apply this, we're going to wipe it off and then sand and then I can start staining. conditioner it causes the grains of the wood to rise again so now that that is set for about 15 minutes I'm going to give it a good sanding and then I'll start applying the stain. All right, guys, so you want to keep sanding until this is super smooth to the touch, but I wanted to point out a few of the imperfections that came on this butcher block. There are a couple deep scratches. Um, I had a spot where the wood was severely splintered here. I've been sanding at it, but it's still not completely smooth, so I may have to fill some of this stuff with wood putty, but even when you think you've sanded enough keep sanding that is part of this process is you just want to sand it until it's virtually perfect so now that we have the wood all smooth i am applying a oil-based stain from verithane in the color early american using a foam brush and a stain pad once this is stained let's head back to the room and continue this process Okay, so butcher block is a little expensive. So this is actually this butcher block that we use for the first desk. The goal is to try to get this sanded back to raw wood so I can match the stain on the new piece of butcher block that we bought. So I'm hoping that that's going to go well where we'll be able to sand this off and start working on this part. All right, so here's the challenge. We have to get this butcher block back down to the raw wood. So this does have stain on it. So I'm hoping that we'll sand it down and I can get it to raw wood. The other challenge is, is it going to match the stain on this one? So this is gonna be an experiment, but hopefully it's gonna work out. So whenever you stain any wood, it is great to seal it with a polyurethane. So this one is a water-based stain. I'm sorry, water-based polyurethane. So what I'm going to do is add a coat and then we're going to wait, come back, sand it down and add another coat. So I'm going to do a total of three coats of this and that way this butcher block will be protected from being scratched or any type of blemishes that may occur. Alright guys, so now we're getting ready to build the base. Like I said before, the Alex drawers have got to go. So what I'm going to do is assemble these sheets of plywood to create a space for the PC to sit that will have proper ventilation and then another space for drawers. So it's going to take the place of where the Alex drawers are currently at and hoping it's going to work out.
ready for paint. So I really want this desk to stand out and not blend in with the wall. So I'm going with a white color. And so this is the Sharon Williams Greek Villa. It doesn't look too much different than the primer that's on here, but I think it's gonna look really good with the same color on the butcher block. So what I'm working on is I'm gonna be doing two legs for the L part of the desk to sit on. So what I've done is taken a two by six and cut it to length. And then now I'm just going to attach these together to form a rectangle. Um, and I've used pocket holes to do that. So just a quick note, because these are actually one and a half inches deep, um, you have to adjust your pocket hole jig to the one and one half setting to drill these holes. You also would have to use a longer screw to adjust for the depth of the wood. So I have it clamped and glued. Now I'm just going to connect it with these pocket hole screws. All right, guys, so I have sanded this down as much as I think we can. Remember, we're going from black, trying to get this back to raw wood. So it still has some gray tints on it, but we couldn't get the stain off. So I'm going to experiment and add some regular household bleach to this overnight to see if we can pull this back to raw wood and then create a base so that I can apply the early American stain to match our other butcher block countertop. So if this works in the morning, what I'll do is add some vinegar to neutralize the bleach and then we can start staining. So fingers crossed. And if it doesn't work, then you'll know not to try this at home. But let's hope it works because I don't want to spend $200 on the butcher block. All right, so I think we've gotten it as good as we're going to get it. So it's been bleached, it's set out in the sun, we neutralized it with vinegar, sanded it one more time. So I'm just going to go for it and apply the stain and hope that it's going to blend with our other side of the desk. So since this part of the desk is essentially going to be my space, I found this pop-up charger that I'm going to install. So it is a wireless phone charger and then it also has access to outlets. So this is going to come in handy whenever I need to sit at the desk. So all I'm going to do is use this special drill bit to cut a circle, pop this in and get it plugged in. to build four of these drawers using some scrap boards that I found in my garage and transparency. This is my first time ever building drawers. So I'm just happy that they worked out. The next step will be to build some face frames for these and get the drawer pulls installed and that will be all for this part of the desk. The last step that I did was I connected the legs and the base to the butcher block using clamps and two inch wood screws and I went in from underneath so that you cannot see those screws. Other than that, the desk is complete. Please make sure to comment and like this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. It really goes a long way in helping us to continue to grow. But as always, be strong, be courageous, and go out and build some shit.